Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Starlink Battle for Atlas. It's been a tiny bit since I've last played, but I did want to catch up with everything a little bit more. Of course, last episode we were checking out the character we're playing right now. I forget her name at the moment. It is Razor, and we were dominating most of Kyrite. We've gotten most things done. We're just looking for two more ruins and 10 more wrecks and one more sample. But I don't know if we're gonna be tackling that today. I feel it'd be much more interesting if we actually continue with the main story today, which if we can see, we have the main campaign, we have St. Grand Secrets, and we have a wolf in Atlas. So I think that Rally the Troops, Build Your Own Armory, and Vilas is what we're gonna be focusing on now. Maybe we'll keep playing as Razor because I had a lot of fun with our last episode. It would be fun to continue for now, and if we need to change things up later on, why not, you know? But for now, I think this will work just fine as I'm getting my bearings back with the game since it has been a couple weeks since I've last played, but I didn't want to keep it at 10 episodes. I definitely want to at least conquer the main story mode of this game. I would love to do more, but there's only so much time in the day for super huge, gigantic 10, thousand hour games, you know? Well, I'll do what I can. So Planet Phylus is where we needed to be for our main mission, I believe, so let's fast travel. Apparently it is weird when exactly you can and cannot fast travel, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. I don't know. And here we are. So for this one, wait, right here. I don't know where we need to be for this one. Is it, oh no, is it the same planet for Dr. Thorne? Okay, let's first build our own armory. We can do that now. We should have enough Nova. That was sort of the problem before is we didn't have enough Nova to properly do it, but we should be able to no problem now. We just need to find an imp hive, destroy it, and build an armory. It'll be good to have one on at least each planet, as far as I remember. But for right now, this is just what we're gonna focus on. So, where could we go right now? Like, this is a crashed Drake. Oh, well, we do want to get these done. So since that's on the way, maybe I'll do that, and then I'll just keep looking like, oh, over here, building site. So we'll, we'll go ahead and snag that on our way over, just because that'd be perfect, because it's always good to do those as much as we possibly can. So here we are on Vilas, looking pretty good. Legion and we're just gonna slowly detected. land. Out oh, over this way. Oh. We got a probe. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. Probe destroyed. That was really easy. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're on the ground now. We don't have to worry about flying, which is usually pretty easy or easier to worry about. I don't know if I'll worry about taking out every enemy in this area because the enemies in this area, I don't know if they're all that difficult, but they're just not really that necessary to worry about as much. Just gotta fill this up. I think we got it, right? There it is. Okay, so there is our first one of these spires done in today's episode. garbled warden transmission. I can't make everything out, but it appears to be some sort of control station that communicates with the other spires on Vilas. Cool. So hopefully we can continue to get upgrades. Oh, do people need our help though? If I can help some people, I guess I should do it. Maybe this will just help me get him back into the, uh, the the workings of things. I don't see anybody else around here. Okay, we can keep working. I do see, yeah, over this way. Oh, that's close to where we're headed as well. Maybe we'll take this guy out, we got a prime. Creepy. But for right now, I'm a bit more worried just about getting into this one thing. Maybe the prime will have moved at that point. We'll have to wait and see. I know there's a lot of natural resources around on, oh wow, uh, this planet. So we could start grabbing some of those soon enough. We got a lot of upgrades in the last episode just because of all the Nova we have and all of the incoming Electrum. We have over a million of it right now, but we need a whole lot more, don't we? So, lots of work ahead of us, I know, I know. Oh gosh, whoa. I just sort of want to move on with the main quest as much as I can for the for the moment at the least, you know? So this will be pretty easy to set up. I don't see him in the distance just yet. Okay, build outpost and armory. Got it. Okay, so defend the planet while you're away by dispatching squads of vigilantes to patrol the world. Their turrets will destroy any enemy units that get too close. And it is pretty expensive at 150,000 Electrum and five Nova, which is a tough right. part, but we did it. The materials have been transferred. Okay, member nice army work, constructed. Chief. The Legion aren't gonna know what hit him. So can we upgrade this thing at all? I don't remember. In combat, Whoa, is there somebody attacking me? Oh, now. you bet there is. No, you're mine. So we got some elite outlaws going on right now. Get rid of this guy as fast as I can. Ooh, Those see ya. Losers won't be back anytime soon. Nice, that Good was easy. Work. Okay, so new mod collected there, just a heat amplifier, nothing crazy, but what do I do now? Because as you can see, go to the Equinox. That's my main mission at the moment. Can I improve this thing whatsoever? Hold the top. Welcome back, Starlink. I guess so we can deliver some items. Let's deliver some drill bits. Forces grow ever stronger. Yeah, good job. Memorial Armory levels up. The Legion blocks Alliance growth. 
So now it's like limited to 14% or something? That's pretty crazy. So like, what level? Okay, we still have one more level we can do. Might as well grab that super easy. I think it'll be easy. Oh, not quite. Upgrade outpost, how much would it cost now? Five Nova for that little bit. We're here for just one yeah, I don't know about that. To smash those Legion fiends. The Prime itself is in our sights. We can finally fulfill our purpose and save this world. Are you in? Not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more uh, pieces of materials, see if I can't just end up getting enough to upgrade them, because that would be perfect for me. Because I don't want to spend five Nova for that little tiny sliver that we have left. That would just be ridiculous and a waste of resources. Just trying to find what I can actually grab around here. There's a lot of rocks, but I was hoping for something maybe a little bit more valuable. But hey, a lot of rocks. It still works, it still adds up. Yeah, I guess there's not a lot of like civilization-based things around here, like drill bits and stuff, but instead we just have a lot of resources, so it balances out. And we can hold up to like 50 of them, so not really too worried about that. Just worrying about being able to get back, okay. And we got an outlaw. Oh, don't you, don't you pull your shield up. I can do that too, you know. There we go, there we go. Oh, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. Yeah, you are now. Going down. Oh, recover, recover, recover. I need to pull up my thing soon. Well, I mean, my ability, that'd be cool, but it's not turning out so well. Got rid of you. Where's your friend at? He's going down too. One way to deal with nice, ooh, we got some good stuff for that. Him back into space. You did good. That's not gonna work. Analysis. The yeah, yeah. Be more easily dislodged if targeted with heat weaponry. Reminder, All right. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Nova samples like this are a valuable resource. I know. That's why I'm bringing them back. At any outpost. Okay. So we'll bring this stuff back to the outpost and see if we can't get something from it. Oh, what about this? Does any of these have anything I can pick up? Doesn't appear so. There's something to pick up over here, though. Is it just like a rock I missed out on? Seems like it to me. Got it now. Oh, and what about this? Pick up Noxitoad stomach. Can I hold this or do I have to like, you know? Oh no, I can just like rip it out like that. Gotcha. Reminder, samples of local flora like this are highly sought after mm -hmm. by observatories. We just heard this. I wish she didn't tell us this every time we picked it up. It's a little bit exhaustive. I think this will be enough to get an upgrade down. We can use this oh, not quite. energy to there it is. turrets with legion blasting power. Thank you. You're welcome. And you get an upgrade. Get an extra 1%. <laughs> awesome. But now it's maxed out, so I don't have to worry about it too much. So now if you did want to worry about that other mission on this planet, we get the cold amplifier three, which is pretty sweet. And yeah, so we got Covert Colleague, Reach Dr. Thorne, which is somewhere on this planet. Where exactly I I, I guess I can't see from here. I don't know, I'll just probably just keep flying around until I find it though. Um, and then beyond that, we also have the main campaign, which is go to the Equinox, which I'll do soon enough, like I said. But if we go this way, 17.6 meters away. We should be able to get there without too much of a problem then. And maybe we could do a couple things along the way, like if we want to take on that hive, the hive might be a little bit farther. Course immediately. I'm conducting very important research and don't have time for visitors. Dr. Thorne? Hey, the name's Razor. We're from the Equinox, and I believe you know our captain. Victor St. Grant? Of course. This is incredible. How is he? St. Grant is gone. I'm sorry, child. You must be devastated. Please come straight to my outpost. We must talk. Here I am. Okay, so how do we get into this thing? Do we just hold a talk? There you go. Hi. How are you? I believe destiny has brought us together. Years ago, St. Grand and I began a project that could destroy the Legion for good. We parted ways before we could complete our research. For the sake of Atlas and the galaxy, you must help me finish it. Will do. Guys, I think we should help her. Didn't of course. St. Grand ditch her way back when? I know, but what if Thorne's right and we can stop the Legion? It's worth the risk. Dr. Thorne? We'll help you finish your research. You've just taken the first step towards saving the galaxy. I'm sending you the coordinates of a swarm artifact that's taken me a century to find. I call it the Keystone. Huh, okay, so reach the second Dr. site, Thorne. Covert Colleague. St. Grand and I have been searching for my species for years. 
How did you locate the artifact? You brought the swarm specimen with you. Judge is the whole reason we came to Atlas. We're trying to take him home. It's a fool's errand, and I fear you'll regret it. Hey, how can you say that? He's one of us. One of you? You have no idea what they're capable of. <sighs> Please, understand. The swarm are nothing like our species. They are more like locusts. An unstoppable, destructive force of nature. If they're so dangerous, why are you even trying to find them? Because the swarm hold the key to all our futures. All right, well, let me scan these guys in the meantime. The vines yeah. have oh. trapped a large chunk of debris. To get to the artifact, you're going to need to clear it. Those pods govern the vine's growth and are laced with potent neurotoxins. You must remove them. Gotcha. The cave system holds the keystone, but... It also holds danger. These vines are far too toxic for me to get close. I've already taken the liberty of scanning your ship. Your shielding should keep you safe. Sweet. It's like gardening. With jets. I find it amazing that you and St. Grand are the same species. Aw, <laughs> thank Yikes. you. That wasn't a compliment. Anyways, let's go ahead and scan this guy because once we do, we have scanned him and we should be done with it. DNA Got profile it. Profile complete. Fauna identified. Noxitoad. Our new discovery. Awesome. It's nine out of thirteen in total. So we got to do That's something with this. I don't. Noxitoad. That big gross tail is apparently full of poison. Gnarly, bruh. Uh, okay. Oh, hey. Excuse me. Got places to be. Can I go in from here? I don't really understand. Yeah, okay, so let me use some ice to get through this heat corrupted hey guys, Nova. I'm a little freaked out. I mean, you don't really think that judge could be dangerous, do you? Levi, you are aware I am on this frequency, correct? Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm worried too. How much do we actually know about it? So judge is an it now? When did that happen? The moment I started wondering if judge was a threat. Guys. You know Judge can still hear us, right? Please, do not allow my presence to stop you. You are all clearly concerned. Look, I don't You're like so it either. Too many unknowns. But the unknown is why we're out here. Yeah, and we all know Judge. He's not dangerous. Thought I knew St. Grand too. It seems everyone has their secrets. Hmm. So this area is like a little puzzle that you have to get through, trying to pull all these different vines and stuff. I still can't get into there. But, maybe there's another way I can get through. Looking for it. I could probably just fly and get up on the top. I still don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. We'll give it a shot, we'll see what happens. So I don't see any other entrance from here. Because from up, this up. Oh. I'm pretty sure I saw like in a cutscene there was something up this way though. So I'm trying to land in a spot where I can properly look around. Yeah, like this one. Pick vine bulb, and get it. Got it, awesome. So what is that gonna do for us? It's just gonna move this one back a little bit. Oh, hey, that okay, did he's something. Uncovered now. Awesome, so let's go down there and get it. Or not, what are we waiting for? Nothing. Okay, let's go grab this keystone, and you try to bring it, it back. You recovered an actual swarm artifact. Uh, for a species of short-lived mammals, you are capable of great things. Watch who you're calling a mammal. Being here with all of you, it's like he was here too. I see facets of his personality in each one of you. Except for Levi. <laughs> hey! Now, bring me the artifact. The fate of a thousand worlds hangs in the balance. She does not like Levi. So where are we going? Uh, this way, gotcha. Just gotta be careful of that prime, or we'll have bigger problems to deal with, so that won't be good. Making history deliver the keystone to the first sight. That'll be cool. Okay, so we just gotta basically make our way from where we came in from, which should be pretty easy to do, I would hope. But then after that, we could go back to the uh, Elysium, or what is it called, Equinox. Yeah, go back there and see how things work. 
But for right now, I just like, I feel like this is sort of kind of part of the main quest. It's sort of not at the same time. It's, it's hard to tell, to be honest. Ow. Excellent work, Equinox. Now place the keystone on top of the central structure. Bringing oh, no. the two elements together will unlock the power hidden here for so long and show us the way to the swarm. Okay, so this is pretty tough. Luckily, we got this sweet double Mission, jump, which makes I things pretty concerned. easy. What if Dr. Thorne is correct and my species is a threat? I'm not afraid of you, Judge. Maybe you should be. If I harmed the Equinox, I could not forgive myself. St. Grand saved me. Without him and this crew, I would be lost. Okay, so activate. Incredible. You've made it to the top. Yeah. Mother. I was right. I was right. After so many years, a swarm scout ship. I only wish St. Grand could see this. What? Picking up an energy surge, guys. A big one. I can hear this ship. It is beautiful. Sounds like singing. Are there swarm inside? This ship is empty, but it's reaching out to contact the hive mind. The signal's off the charts. It's a burst transmission, and it's aimed right at Necrom. That can only mean one thing. There is living swarm on Necrom. Meet me there as soon as you can. We are so close. More of my species. This is why St. Grant created the Equinox. Please, we must go to Necrom and find them. All right, so Necrom, I believe, is a planet we haven't been to yet. I don't know if it's very easy for us to get to, which is why I want to go to the Equinox first. So, uh, progress further in the main campaign to continue, so we can't even do that yet. Okay, gotcha. So, go to the Equinox. That should be pretty easy for us to do. All we need to do is zoom out. And I think we can just teleport to it at any time, right? Where, where, where is the Equinox right now? Uh, good question. Oh, it's right here, right here. Got it. Okay, the, the, the symbol, the, the quest icon was blocking it. I got confused. Anyways, we can just teleport right over. Pull into the razor, what? What, what what's happening? What? What is this? Shout. I'm not a threat, so you can hold your fire. Wait. Are you the reason my AI's been acting up? You were following me? You've been making noise. First Sonatus, then Vilas. I wanted to see for myself. You got 10 seconds to explain yourself. It'll be easier if I show you. What's going on? Isn't she an outlaw? Oh, transmission. I, I, I can only hope you're all still alive. I, I don't have much time. I am on this massive ship called a, a, a Dreadnought, and it's releasing these. Oh, I, I don't know what you'd call them. They're enormous. A maniac and his cult are behind all this. Grax. Grax. He, he needed me because... What's important now is that you destroy this dreadnought. The coordinates are encoded in this message. Hurry before. Check this room. Uh oh. I think he got caught. Saint Grand, he's alive. This dreadnought must be where the primes are coming from. He's barely hanging on. We have to help him. Wait, how did you get this? Who are you? Grax took someone from me. I want him stopped. And when I met your friend, he told me you're the ones to do it. And we will. Come on, guys. We finally know where St. Grand is. This is our chance. I know. Okay, I'll do it. But if I'm gonna pull this off, I'll need backup. Okay, so yes. well, we got all the backup I in the world. Dibs. Don't be too quick about it. The dreadnoughts are powered by the primes. If there are primes still out there, you're in for a fight you might not come out of. I'll update all right, so it might be... the coordinates. Let us know when you're close, Razor. I'll get the team ready. Fingers crossed it's not a... It might be easier just to go to this planet real fast, and hopefully they'll continue talking from here. Because I didn't realize it would cut them off. Sorry. <laughs> but now we know where uh, St. Grand is, which is really important. So hopefully we can get everything done that we need to get done, and we can save him. But I don't know. He was saying to destroy the ship. Okay. Uh, 
Legion Hierarchy. Dreadnoughts deploy Primes on the planet. Destroy Primes to weaken the Dreadnought. Primes move around the planet planting Extractors. Destroy Extractors to weaken the Prime. Extractors send out raiding parties to attack outposts. Destroy these squads to protect your allies. Lots of train effects going on there, but okay. Dreadnought, one Starlink new discovery. database updated. Okay, approaching the Dreadnought now. Razor, Sage has intercepted a close range Legion transmission but it is using our encryption code. I will put it through. Okay, We're doing what we can. I'm on the Dreadnought. I'll try to find a way out, but in case I don't, I'm sorry. St. Grant, Judge, tell him we're here. It is a recording. I am unsure as to whether I can patch through. Will you Probably not. I am. Look, none of you are going to be any help so long as that thing's operational. But how do we fight it? We barely know what it is. Keep on the approach. We'll assess the situation from there. Okay, so let's give there this a is. shot. The Dreadnought. What do you got for me? Hey, Soren, you brought us here. Any bright ideas? There's only one way around that armor. But you're not going to like it. First step is to take out those battery cannons. Copy that. What about St. Grant? I am attempting to make a connection. Please be patient. Okay, so we need to take out some battery cannons. Are those the things on the front? Hard to tell. We'll just get over here closer and find out. Defeat the Dreadnought, there's stuff being fired. Oh, they're enemies. They're level 10 Legion Drakes. Okay, you know what, I haven't done this yet. B, Y, yes. and X, and A, and B again. Nice, that took care of a couple of them, to say the least, wowee. Okay, that yeah, gave us over a thousand experience, awesome. So it looks like we do have friends coming in, that's so cool. Okay, so maybe we might be able to save St. Grand here. Come on, come on, get this. Battery cannon's going down. Oh, we're doing some good damage to it. Got it. And then there's some enemies over this way? Apparently they could be in any direction. Sort of what I don't like about the, the map when we're out in space is that it's incredibly hard to tell which way they actually are. Another down. It seems like the, the fights that are in space usually are a whole lot different for some reason, or at least a whole lot more difficult. I mean, obviously they're different for a good reason, they're in space, but they're usually a lot tougher. Oh, we got some good damage on you there, though. I feel like we're using our abilities pretty smartly. Okay, but he is moving all over the place. I gotta go and work on another one of these cannons, I think. Let my teammates take care of the rest of that stuff. Battery cannon, come on, get rid of this thing. I'm, not, I'm only using one of my cannons there, or one of my weapons. Let's change that. This is the elite. Get rid of him. And then all of his friends do. Ow. Stop that. Okay. Work on this guy now. Oh, that thing is getting me. That thing is getting me. Keep dodging. I don't know where my friends are. What they're up to. <laughs> Caution. Secondary turrets online. It's working. Now hit the eyes when they open. And watch out for those drakes. Hit the eyes when they open. So, like, with... Usually some of those powers that the primes make. I mean, I would love to do that, but I'm a little busy at the moment. They're all attacking me. So, Targets these destroyed. eyes? No, those eyes, gotcha, okay. Move over and start working on those. Got a dread eye right here. Oh, they do not open for very long, now do that. Whoa, what was that? Okay, let's get rid of these guys. There are too many of these dudes right now. Ow, ow, ow. They're back, they're back, they're back. They don't open for too long though, I gotta pay attention, but hard to do that when there's like 17 Another guys down. beating me up. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, oh, I'm so dead. Ah, oh, okay. So let's swap ships real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and change characters as well. So I'm gonna change to, I don't know, we'll change to, I think Chase. Yep, skip, I know. And then we'll also change ships to this one. Does she have any pilot? Oh yeah, she has zero points available. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay. And then when it comes to these, we'll switch everything over to the appropriate combo. And that should be good, but we could mix things up a little bit. Like if I wanted to do this, and then maybe this, and then let me make sure everything's properly modded. Like before we move any farther, I really should make sure that things are as modded as possible. Cause like I have an epic here, I guess I don't have a legendary. We have the epic equipped, cold armor four, or I could change that to be, I mean, I have the deflection armor, which I think is good. Uh, 
resistance to heat. I don't know if I need that too much. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and equip it. What is this? 20% elemental resistance plus 15 defense. That's... Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, we don't need extra experience. Okay, that's sort of the best we can get then. Uh, with these... No, what was going on with... I'm just trying to yeah, do that. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, so we have a legendary weapon mod for this. Gotcha. Uh, and for these... Oh, we could do one of the... Uh, the relics, yeah, we got this last episode. Plus 20% strong elemental damage, plus 10% chance to deal 100% more damage, plus 30% weapon energy efficiency. Is that what we have equipped over here? Yes, it is, okay, so worth to keep it that way. We probably wanna do plus 20% cold damage and then plus 25% cold damage is probably better than anything because it's all cold damage with that weapon, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Probably want to do plus 15% plus gravity damage. I mean, we really don't need more range. So yeah, more gravity damage might be smarter. Okay, we'll try that out. We'll see how things go and hopefully they turn out well. I really don't know if they will, but the auto aiming might just make things a little bit more of a breeze for us. And then we can com combo it up, of course, with some other stuff. Got it. I just need to sort of fly around a little bit try to get our bearings as much as possible and wait for those eyes to open back up. But in the meantime, if I could take care of some of the, the elite legion drakes or whatever. Ow, dude, seriously, leave me alone. You just gotta wait around for them, but there's like 7,000 guys flying around. It's a total pain. Okay, there they are. Beat them up. Oh, we're almost about to die again, like immediately. That's sort of lame. I'm gonna try to fly away. Please let me Another just fly down. away. Another down, okay. That's good. I'm flying this way. I'm just gonna try to like fly around the ship. Maybe if I stay on this side, people will leave me be. Okay, this one's open. Go for this one. Easy takedown. Health is back up to full. They're starting to attack me though, so that's changing real fast. Come on, come on, come on. Get one of these, get one of these, because we destroy its health real fast. Got it, start working on this one. Might even be able to get two out one, one try. Not quite, but almost. Okay. Work on these Legion Drakes then. Oh my gosh, we're low on health again. It's always these space sections that are significantly more difficult than anything else in the game. No. Because it's impossible to balance that, it's baloney. I'm gonna switch weapons real fast. You know, I'm gonna keep with Chase. Actually, I might, I don't know, I might change just because, no, I'm not done. Because I know she was really close to having her thing. Okay, maybe she isn't. I thought she was closer. We'll continue to take out bad guys and see what ends up happening with it. So get rid of that Legion Drake. As much as I can, these guys are the worst though. Like they just don't stop. They just don't stop. Okay, go for this. Just keep barrel roll rolling over and over again. Invigorating gameplay, I know. Come on, come on, come on. I'm losing all my ships because of this, so it's sort of really annoying. No way, come on. Leave me alone, let me get my health back and then you can attack me all you'd like. Oh boy, come on, come on. So we got our first sliver back, but we need our armor back, and it's coming back, that's good, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna turn back around. And it seems like the more we take these guys out, just the more spawn, so it might just be smarter just to focus on this stuff whenever we get the chance, which is right now. I didn't get to land a single point of damage on that, that was sort of lame. Okay, there it goes, it's back, it's back, it's back. Warning. Got it! Missiles incoming. Oh no. Recommend evasive action. That's it. Take out that missile launcher and you can get inside. That's your way inside? You wanted a way past its armor, that's it. Once Ow. the door opens, it's oh. a straight shot to the core. It's super duper tough though, I'm sure. It always is. So we gotta get rid of all these missiles and then just go in through whatever that, the missile launcher once we destroy it. The dreadnought door. Come on, Interior come exposed. on. Yes! Is now possible. Okay. Let's try for it. We gotta go quick because they're trying to beat us up still. Okay, okay, let's be careful heading in. Interior oh, oh. controls enabled. This is scary. Rise and sink. Oh, interesting. This is controls are a little bit different here. I have a connection. Saint Grand, are you there? Judge, is it really you? Thank goodness yep. you're all right. Saint Grand, we're here. We're coming to rescue you. Mason, I knew you could do it. I have so much to tell you. You can tell us all about it when you're back. We've been saving your seat. Huh, that sounds good. Listen, 
I need you to destroy the reactor. What about you? Don't worry. I think you've caused enough of a distraction for me to find my own way out. Just take out that reactor. All right, let's get to it. So apparently he's found his own way out. We just gotta destroy this thing from the inside out. We should be good. So is there more of these kind of ships we can destroy later on? That's gonna be a bit tough, but also very interesting. Okay, so we're doing okay. Wait, it said I passed it. Really? Doesn't look like it to me. It looks like it's right here. Okay, we just gotta beat this thing up. It's working, it's working. I see it's helping on the top going down. Come on, let's reload, reload. Oh, there are laser beams everywhere. There are laser beams everywhere. Keep going. Come on, we almost, it would be cool if we had our power up for this, but I don't no have down. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it. Now get out nice. Of that means you too, Saint Grant. Whoa, we got I'm two legendaries. Away. This is gonna be close. Where do I go? Where do I go? Nowhere. Oh, it's just gonna fade to black. Cool, we made it. Wowee. There's one big ship down. Wait, who's that? He's coming in hot. Oh no. Is that Saint Grand? My stars. Saint Grand. Give me a hand. Over here. Hurry. Stay with us. Hang in there. Is he okay? Help me get him up. What's going on? He's losing it. His body has been infected with a foreign neurotoxin. Life signs are fading. Then do something. Oh no. Oh, did he drop it? No. He doesn't look good. No, it's okay. Come closer. Grex, help me on a warden station. Judge, I saw something. Follow the wardens. No. 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 He's... He's gone. You did your best. We all did. Our best? He's dead, Hunter! What good is our best now? Wow. After the accident, it's all anyone wanted to talk about. They treated me like I was weak, but I'm not. Saint Grand, he saw that. He brought me aboard and I met all of you and I never got to thank him for that. He took me in when no one else would. Levi, you broke in. Yeah, but he didn't call the cops. I was so pumped to be part of this trip. Part of this crew. St. Grant saw me talk and next thing I knew, here I was in Atlas. St. Grant made me believe I could do anything. But now he's gone. I guess he was wrong about me. Okay, that's enough. Listen, I've lost people before. You don't want to go down that road. If you hadn't been here, St. Grand would have died for nothing. You need to be here. Why? Who else is going to get us out of this mess? You could not have prevented St. Grand's death. But you can shape what comes next. We must halt the Legion's progress here before it can escape Atlas. Well, looks like we still have a mission then now, don't we? Okay, cool. So sad thing okay, has guys. happened, but Judge is right. Grax isn't going to stop until we end this. We're not gonna let him hurt anyone else. But St. Grant said he was on a warden station. Do we even know where that is? Maybe. 
Let's head to Karit. I'll explain on the way. Okay, so Karit is over this way? Yeah, looks like it is. So You said the only warden structures in the Pleiades are in Atlas, right? Ah yes. However, my extensive research has only uncovered tombs and warden spires. Nothing large enough to launch a dreadnought. Not in Atlas A. But what about Atlas's other stars? Uh, dude, I only see one star. <gasps> oh, they're invisible! Levi, Atlas has three stars. St. Grant briefed us on the way here. It's a valid theory. This warden station could very well be in Atlas B or C. But they're both billions of miles from here. Too close for our spin drive, and too far to fly. We'd never make it. So we use Starlink. That can't be your answer to everything. What? No, all we need to do is extend the range. The only problem is getting enough power. I do not know if that is possible. That's why we're going to Karit. I'm hoping our allies can help. Okay, well, let's hope for that. Can I teleport yet? I can, okay, awesome. Just didn't want to interrupt them talking like I did last time. So there we go, heading over to Karit again. And I guess there's just more to do here. I don't really know what exactly we're going to get done. I guess sort of lost that in all the details. But there's a star we need to get to, but we need to extend the, the length of Starlink to get there. But we just have to figure that out piece by piece, I suppose. Warning, three dreadnoughts detected. Legion broadcast incoming. Attention uh -oh. residents of Karit. This is Captain Tack Vega. And I am here to take the trade sector for Grax. Prepare to be annihilated. Oh good, a greeting party. Hmm. The Dreadnought is driven not by the Legion, but by a cult member. Grax's plan is advancing. Wow. What in the... Oh no. Guys, we got trouble. Hold on. The star map. Karit's covered in extractors. My stars? How is this possible? Guess we gotta find some friends somewhere else. No, we can't abandon our friends, especially now. The Alliance has to stay strong. Agreed. We must adapt to overcome our obstacles. We can't let the Legion advance. Yeah, we're Starlink. We never give up. All right, all right. Color me inspired. So we take back Karit, then what? Then we do the impossible, like always. Which means what? We take back all the planets? Karit's in bad shape. This is gonna be tricky. I recommend you first eliminate the extractors and imp hives. This will create space to build outposts. Also, we should seek out support from our allies. If we help them, they'll grow stronger, as will our alliance. Smart as always, you two. I'll check back in later. Okay, can I not pick this up? Oh, stop the Legion thread. Destroy the Legion Prime to reduce the Legion's presence on a planet. Watch out for dormant extractors. They'll reawaken when new Prime arrives. Build armories to strengthen your alliance and help defend the planet. Okay, cool. So, I mean, we were already doing that kind of stuff step, to some extent. We come closer to reclaiming Karit. Yeah, it's getting there. Any idea what we're doing next? Well, if Grax is in another Atlas system, we need to extend Starlink's range. But for that, we're going to need power. The Equinox cannot maintain higher levels of Nova. It will not work, unless we can power the ship remotely. Remotely? Like how the Prime feeds power to the Dreadnought. That's right. If only we had a machine to do it. Can we build our own? Yeah, the Legion did, so I'm sure we can figure something out. Meanwhile, let's keep pushing back the Legion and building our alliance on Karit. We'll need plenty of support to see this through. Gotcha. Okay, I wanted yeah, to pick this nice thing up because it going, says I can. Razor. Karit's looking a lot better. Oh. <laughs> you had some friends too. Yeah, we did that last okay. episode. We're gonna need all the help we can get. That mean you guys have a way to reach Grax? Yes. As Mason said, we need to extend Starlink's range. The issue is having enough power to do it. So we've been in the lab designing a structure that can both store Nova and teleport it directly to the Equinox, sort of like a mini Starlink. Even better, it won't just be us powering Starlink, but our allies as well. Wait, wait, that's what you were drawing this whole time. Man, you should have put some big machine guns and like a nuclear missile on that thing. And what exactly was your contribution in the lab? Huh? No, nothing. Hey, I've been banned ever since I built that pyro theme park for the lab mice. You remember that? Hmm, that was a close one. <laughs> well, we're almost there. Just a few more outposts to build and some extractors to take down and we'll be ready. 
Okay, well that sounds awesome. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Karita secure once again, for the most part. Yes. Yeah, I did it last episode. Now that we have Karita's <laughs> expedition and prospectors on board. We're almost ready to start building the first Starlink tower. Okay. Looking at so, the design, we'll need more Electrum to get started. Great work. We have all the resources we need. Now it's the same as any other outpost. We just need to find a good spot to build. Once the first Starlink Tower is done, we can figure out how many we'll need to reach Grax. Then I'm gonna kick that ugly beak boy's butt. Not if I get there first. You guys are so excited. Okay, so build a Starlink Tower on Kyrite, a Karit. Starlink database updated. Starlink Tower, gotcha. New discovery, 16 out of 16, so we're done with that. So I guess what I gotta do is I have to find an open spot from one of the, not from the towers, but I think from one of the things we built everything else from, the imp hive. So I'm trying to look around on where one of those might be. I'm actually not seeing any. Did we build on all of them? I mean, I guess I could remove one. I didn't think I built on all of them. Maybe I did. I mean, I don't really see any. Maybe I should focus on one of these big towers and it would, it would would something would come from that. Uh, what's, what's the one I'm closest to? I'm the closest to, I guess, this one. So we'll try that one out, see what ends up happening. Maybe I can place a, a Starlink tower on that. If I can't, I'll just try to find one of our currently existing things and put something on that. Because I may have done that. I might have already replaced all of the imp hives with stuff. It's because I felt like I, that was something I had to do. But maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, we'll get to it and we'll see how things end up happening. It's been an interesting episode focusing on the main quest today. I like it. We still can't do the St. Grand Secrets. And let's see what we can do with this. Right, I'm just gonna Vigilante dodge all those guys. Reporting. Extractor down. Repeat, extractor down. All right, extractor destroyed, lesion pushed back. What do you mean extractor down? This thing's, Proximity this thing's. Alert. Extractor detected. Power rating low. Oh, really? Our allies must be protected against threats like this. We better Whoa. take action. This guy's just flying. Yeah. What, already? That was really fast, wow, okay. What do I even have left? I mean, oh, do I have this stuff back now? Oh, sweet. Hold on, no, not what I wanted. Jeez, uh, I wanted to go back to our setup, whatever it was before, which was, I think, mostly just this. Okay, try to get near them, and then I'll just jam out. Because I would love to take care of this guy with my ice powers, with my ice vortex extractor. I keep saying that, but we I didn't destroy this extractor, did you guys? Whoa, ah, was not ready for that. Okay, go for this. So you guys have been sort of on top of it for me. Why, thank you. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Come on, it's almost down, it's almost down, it's almost down, it's almost down. Did we get it? We got it! Okay, for that, for real this time, extractor destroyed, legion pushed back 2%. Awesome. Ooh, so we extractor got one of those. Destroyed. Nice work. We've got the location of the extractor that was linked to this one. Marking on your map now. Hmm. So yeah, I can't replace this with anything. That's what I was sort of trying to figure out. Well, good to know, I suppose. Reminder, I know. Oh, like we got some good experience for that one. It will fetch a high price at any outpost. Okay, so I need to find just like an outpost that I don't really need. Like, I don't need as many observatories as I have. So if I could like replace it, I guess that's what I gotta do. We'll, we'll go and find out. It'll have the option if that is what I can do. But it's probably gonna be real expensive. I do have 16 Nova though. I don't know when I got that much. I guess by doing the main quest, it gives you a good chunk of it. So good to keep that in mind. We'll just be going over this way and getting it done. Spending a lot of time on Karit though. Just like between episodes, just like lots of time between this you. episode and last episode. We'd be happy to purchase some if you're selling. Oh, hold on, I got a fire giant to take down. Because apparently nobody else cares about this. Vigilante Come on, get him. Here. We took got him. An extractor. It didn't stand a chance. Okay, so they're just doing that on their own. How cool is that? So I want to talk to you. Starlink. I hope this orbital period finds you well. Confirmed. Sure. We'll get to work repairing Starlink the Tower, here we go. So, detected. Starlink Tower serves as a beacon for the entire planet and generates the power you need to reach Grax. Alliance gained 50%. Level up all, all allies on current planet. Oh, really? So like we all get leveled up? Or do I get leveled up? I don't know. Visibility range, it does take 10 Nova and 200,000 Electrum. Or is that 2 million? That's 200,000, good. Let's try it. Nova link established. 
Sweet, Shark. it's working. Wow. Razor, you should see this. What's up? I think the extra power might boost our scanner range for just, uh, yes, reading Legion activity near Atlas B. Yes, way to go. Missin, you were right. That's gotta be Grax. Using Starlink to get there will be quite the challenge, but it can be done. By my calculations, we'll need one Starlink tower per sector. Great. We already have the trade sector covered. That means we need two more. According to the star map, the frontier sector includes Vilas and Tundria. I surmise building a tower there will not be too difficult. The tower in the dark sector must be constructed on Ashar or Necrom. That may prove a challenge. It might be wise to save this sector for last, but securing one of these planets may be more advantageous early on. Let's hit it. All right, we'll give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. For now, oh, there's more. Is this more Corrupted Nova? Or no, this is just bone fruit. Grabbing Starlink it. Starlink database updated. The Warden Station, our seventh discovery there. Very cool. So I did want to see, can we interact with this in some way? No, it's just a tower that chills out here. I can't like. Yeah, there's no way to upgrade it. Weird, but uh, good to keep in mind. I mean, that thing really flew. It's way over here now. I mean, I don't really need it too much. And what is our goal right now then? Main campaign, the Starlink Initiative, build a Starlink tower on Vilas or Tundria, and then also build a Starlink tower on Ashar or Necrom. Now, I'm not familiar with Ashar or Necrom. When we take a look around, that's unknown to me, unknown. Because there's the dark sector, the trade sector, and then finally the frontier sector, which Vilas or... What was the other one? Was it this one? Tundria, Vilas or Tundria? We've been to Vilas, you know, we've extensively done some stuff here, as you can see. We've been to Tundria for a couple moments and realized it was too difficult and backed out. So, I think we need to build a, we'll, we'll build a Starlink Tower here then. And when it comes to St. Grand Secrets, reach the transmission source, I don't know where that is. Like, if I zoom out again. That's way over here. So we really need to start getting leveled up for that. I do want to check. Pilot skills, it looks like we did get a point for that. Yes, one point available. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade Power Shirt again. And then we have these available now because of that. We have full reverb, amp it up, mosh pit. Excited to see some of that stuff, but not really too much I can do about it at the moment, so we are heading out of here. Wait, no, fly, fly, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I, I, I still have this. I don't know if it'll burn up when I'm leaving. It probably will. Uh, Yeah, it's gone. Okay, oh well, it's fine. So, we need to get over here to the main threat. What, what is this? This is interstellar freighter. We've gotten this one done? No. Rex messages are scattered all over Atlas. Rumor has it they still hide good salvage if you know what to look for. I feel like we've gotten this, but maybe not. It, it says it rewards, I can get three Nova out of it and an epic mod. Good to keep in mind, there's another Dreadnought, but I do need to be level 18 to 20 for it. Okay, so. Where's Vilas? Vilas is right over here. We'll probably set it up on here because it'd be easy. I don't have the 10 Nova I need, so I do need to work on that, but to I think a, a good way to work on it. Frontier sector. I, Proxima Drawl, will keep watch over your demise. With this dreadnought in place, there's no stopping the Legion. I'll be quiet. I don't wanna listen to it. But yeah, we'll just try to earn up as much Nova as we can for the rest of today's episode, which is about another 10 minutes or so, and we'll work on it from there. There's plenty to get done on Nova. So I'm, all right, I'm Vilas. Lots of other types of infection to deal with, though. Okay, whoa, 4% measly. Absolutely measly. But yeah, there's plenty to do in this area. Like we could have, you know, help this observatory. Trying to see like what things might give us some Nova along the way. But I am curious about, you know, the Equinox. Is there new stuff I can work on? Like the Sterling recalibration. This upgrade will become available as you progress through the story. We have stuff like a legendary fusion, combine three epic mods of the same type, but this stuff also requires Nova, so probably not that smart to do at the moment. Gotcha. Okay, never mind. So looking around. Okay, so I think we've completed this one. That's what's great. Let's do this one. It gives us one Nova. One Nova is better than none, so we'll get started with that one and we'll just keep moving. I think it's one of these ones where I have to take on like a wave of enemies, which would actually be rather simple with our move, so decided to try that out. So we'll start hacking this thing, and I'm probably going to do what I normally do. I mean, I don't have to. Breaching Legion data core. But my goal was to just... Maintain connection. 
let them sort of stack up as much as physically possible and then use our ability on them, but that might not even take them all out, you know? So you have to be careful. Actually, they get destroyed so easily. Chances are it would take them out. I mean, I know I'm using ice against them, but they're not fire cyclopses. Whoa, boy, what is that thing? Crush giant. Forgot about crush giants. Uh, well, let's think about this then. What's good against crush is this. So I want to put that, hold on. I want to put that here, I think. I don't know if that'll actually work. Whoa. Morning. Gravity damage this is gonna become a lot more difficult. The enemy. Keep it up. Okay, so I need to change that then. Um, we'll try pulse. I'll try one of these. Okay, that seems to be working. It's really this we need to focus on right now. Okay, you know what? Now's the perfect time to use our ability. A, Y, X, no, I missed it. B, X. Yeah, okay, we had an extra move for that because I just got the upgrade, so that's pretty cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's so many of these dudes. So many of them. Wowee, there really are a lot of reinforcements right now. Okay, so they're all gonna disappear though once the hacking's finished, oddly enough. Which is actually pretty cool. Legion data received and processed. Nice, so we just got a level up there. You are still exploding. You take your time. Okay, well, we'll get the rewards from that in just a second. I figured we would pluck these things. I don't know what's behind me. Apparently there's like a whole set of stuff. So I wanna check that out. We got a Nova for that, which is awesome. I guess it just exploded all these rocks. Got a Fighter Core 1 for all that as well, which is nice. Yeah, we just need to keep on earning up Nova until we have 10 of it, and then we can set up a Starlink Tower on this planet as well, which will be awesome. And there's another Spornicle right over this way. Just trying to pick up whatever I can whenever I can. Back this way, I have a Corrupted Nova. I know, oh my gosh, she never stops with this. Oh, we got a, a high price at any that post. was a something, all right. That was a crushing ammo three. That's awesome. Okay, these guys need help, but I already have them unlocked. They can sort of figure things out, right? Okay, so I do have a, a thing that way, which is good. A Nova over here, so this could be one Nova. No Nova from that one. One Nova from that. Two Nova from that. Okay, so I have, actually have a plan of action then. I could go to this one, this one, or this one, that one and these, and that will get me four more Nova. Actually, I only need three, so I could do this one first and see how things go. Okay, whoa, I just launched that thing. Whoa, did it fly far. <laughs> Holy cow, that was ridiculous. We'll just fly our way there, I think. Or maybe not, I can... Oh, let me help you. Yeah, let's, let's pluck, and whoa. Because this guy doesn't move very fast. He's just a giant tongue. Got it, and then I want to scan you. I don't know why it's playing the intense music now. And got it, very cool. So let's move this way still, whenever I had the chance, so that we can get this done. Oh, what hey is- Hey there, we'd benefit greatly from some of the cores you're carrying if you wanted to barter. Outlaw hostiles detected. Our observatory's under fire! Someone I know, I'm working on it. Get rid of this damage. guy. I got him. Rogue outlaws eliminated. Leading hostels in the area. Nice work. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. So I'm gonna head this way. I just really wanna focus on getting this next tower set up before we're finished up for today's episode. It really shouldn't be too bad as long as I just keep moving forward for whenever I can. Oh. For Ascenta Observatory levels of the Legion Blocks Alliance growth. That's... Legion's block. Okay. Sure, I mean, we went... Wasn't that four percent before? So why did it go up? I don't know. We'll find out later on. But for now, I'm almost there. Only like ten miles away, or whatever it may be. Okay, keep going. Frontier data array located. Hacking it may provide useful information. Okay, so we're hacking over this way. Ah, okay. Decode. Wait, decoding it. All right, is there a lot of bad guys gonna show up? I guess again. Looks like it to me. Place, pal. Got no choice but to take you down. I don't know about that. Well, you were just floating all over the place, there. that's not really too helpful for me taking you down. I, got you in my sights, dirt hog. I might have to change my weapons again, uh, because this is actually not easy. There we go. Take that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, get rid of this guy. These guys are tearing me up right now. This is not Those fun. Will think twice before they come back. Ready to rock. Ow. Oh. That hurt. Okay, I'm like stuck in my own attacks right now. 
Yeah, it's cold because we're attacking ourselves. Here, jump out of this, or not. Get out of here, you know what, fine. Fine, you forced me. Wait, that didn't work. Okay, try it again. B, A, Y, X, B, X. I pressed the wrong button for the last one, darn it. But they're all gone except for one dude who ran away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is this not doing any damage? Because you're holding up a shield, aren't you? Yeah, we did it. Data transmission complete. Analyzing sensor array data stream now. So that get, that got us some Nova, awesome. So this area is technically done. If that's all we had to do around here, which I guess it looks like it is. Hmm. Let's get that chest real fast, which is somewhere around here. Ooh, we got a, nice, we got those leveled up. That's good to see. Open this up as well. Got some stuff out of it. So where is a place we can get Two, oh no, no, there it is, there's two more. Wireless had a few nice towns, but nothing like Haven. Mind you, Bark City Saloon poured the finest sweet sap in Atlas. Okay, so what we need to do now is turn back around and go here. Gotcha. If we do that, we should be able to set up this thing and be all done. That'd be great. Okay, keep moving. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress made so far in today's episode, especially with the main quest and everything. I mean, there's a lot more to complete on a planet like this. We're 11% through it, but and that's sort of to be expected. The planets are huge mungus. Oh, is there a is there a chest to get around here? That'd be nice to get. You know what? I might I might save it for later. Spending my time focusing on the wrong thing. We have more important things to do. You can always go come back and do that stuff later. Love the clouds down here. They're very pretty. Just the way they sort of have like rings to them, layers. Okay, so build outpost, and we wanna go down this way, Starlink Tower, 10 Nova, 200,000 Electrum, got okay, it. Okay guys, another tower's been built. Great job. Starlink reconfiguration is coming along too. Now that we narrowed down the station to Atlas B, I just need to tune the accuracy, but then we should be good to go. Good, while you're working, we should ensure the dreadnoughts are defeated. They won't stop us from fighting Grax, but they will likely make the battle more difficult. Yeah, don't want to get caught with our pants down. No worries there. I haven't been wearing pants this whole time. Levi, <laughs> we talked about this. Okay, well, I guess we'll be doing more talking to Levi and to everybody else next time. Starlink. Come off, load some cores. We could use them. There's a lot of guys around here. But yeah, it looks like we'll be doing more stuff in the next episode, probably, you know, just doing more of the main quest. We need to build a Starling Tower on Vilas or Tundria. Uh, so we got that done. So we needed to build another Starling Tower on Ashar or Necrom, which is probably gonna take us a long time. We're not gonna do that just yet. And same thing with uh, St. Grand Secrets. I think we just need to sort of level up, so chances are we might even focus on a new character next episode, just to sort of get a new lay of the land. But then I might start, maybe even trying the Star Fox mission again. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Dreadnought Zebra, so that you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.